హలో ఎవ్రీవాన్ వెల్కమ్ బ్యాక్ టు వైవీఆర్ మ్యాథ్స్ ట్యూటోరియల్ ఇన్ దిస్ క్లాస్ ఐఎమ్ గోయింగ్ టు డిస్కస్ ఫ్యూ టూ మార్క్స్ క్వశ్చన్స్ ఫ్రమ్ ద చాప్టర్ కంటిన్యూటీ అండ్ డిఫరెన్షియబిలిటీ ఆన్ ద టాపిక్ డిఫరెన్షియేషన్ బేసిక్ ప్రాబ్లమ్స్ విచ్ ఆర్ ఆస్ట్ ఇన్ సిబిఎస్ఈ టూ థౌజండ్ ట్వంటీ బోర్డ్ ఎగ్జామ్ ఇన్ డిఫరెంట్ రీజియన్స్ ఇన్ ఇండియా ఇఫ్ యూఆర్ న్యూ టు దిస్ ఛానల్ ప్లీజ్ హిట్ ద లైక్ బటన్ సబ్స్క్రైబ్ అండ్ షేర్ విత్ అవర్ ఫ్రెండ్స్ వితౌట్ డిలే లెట్స్ బిగిన్ ద క్లాస్ Look at this question. If f of x is equal to over root secant x minus 1 by secant x plus 1, then find f dash of pi by 3. Let us discuss solution for this one. So what is the given function here? The given f of x is equal to over root secant x minus 1 by secant x plus 1. From trigonometry, secant theta can be written as from trigonometry secant theta can be written as 1 by cos theta secant theta can be written as 1 by cos theta so based on this identity how we can change the given function look at this now f of x is equal to over root 1 by cos x minus 1 by 1 by cos x plus 1 now take lcm on numerator and denominator then what we will get numerator lcm part is x cos x and a numerator 1 minus cos x we will get and on denominator if we take lcm cos x is lcm and on denominator part numerator is 1 plus cos x if we observe here from the numerator and the denominator lcm part get cancelled if we cancel the lcm part then what is the remaining function the remaining function is over root 1 minus cos x by 1 plus cos x. Now from trigonometry we know some basic formulas. What are the basic formulas? Cos a is equal to 1 minus 2 sin square a by 2 and one more formula 2 cos square a by 2 minus 1. So by using these two formulas by using these two formulas 1 plus cos a can be written as 1 plus cos a can be written as that means on denominator 1 plus cos x is there 1 plus cos x is nothing but 1 plus cos a so from this second formula 1 plus cos a can be written as 2 cos square a by 2 and here on numerator we have 1 minus cos x by using this first formula 1 minus cos a can be written as 2 sin square a by 2 so by using these two formulas what you will get the new step see here that is equal to over root 2 sin square x by 2 by 2 cos square x by 2. So if you observe here from the numerator and denominator 2 get cancelled then what is the remaining function? The remaining function is the remaining function is over root tan square x by 2 over root tan square x by 2. Here a square root to get cancelled then the final function is tan x by 2. So this is f of x. By using trigonometric identities and the formulas, if we simplify, we are getting this is the new function. Now differentiate this function with respect to x. Then the derivative of f of x is f dash x is equal to what is the derivative of tan x by 2? What is the derivative of tan x? Derivative of tan x is d by dx of tan x. The derivative of tan x is the derivative of tan x is secant square x by using this formula here if we consider x by 2 term as x then clearly it is in the form of tan x then tan x derivative secant square x here x is nothing but x by 2 into d by dx of which term we considered as x variable that function derivative that means d by dx of x by 2 that is equal to secant square x by 2 into derivative of x by 2 is 1 by 2. That means finally what is the derivative of the given function we got? Half into secant square x by 2. This is the derivative of given function. But in question what they are asking? In question clearly they are asking what is f dash of pi by 3? What is f dash of pi by 3? 
see here now put x is equal to pi by 3 in this derivative part put x is equal to pi by 3 then what you will get f dash of pi by 3 is equal to half into secant square pi by 3 by 2 just in x place i substituted pi by 3 then what we will get half into secant square pi by 6 secant square pi by 6 that is equal to half into what is the value of secant pi by 6 secant pi by 6 value is 2 by root 3 whole square is there that's why i am writing here whole square okay if we simplify this one what you will get look at here half into 4 by 3 here 2 2 times get cancelled from the numerator and the denominator 2 2 times get cancelled then the final answer is 2 by 3 therefore finally what we got therefore f dash of pi by 3 is equal to f dash of pi by 3 is equal to 2 by 3 so this is the final answer for the given question i hope you understand let us discuss one more question look at this question if y square into cos 1 by x is equal to a square, then find dy by dx. Then find dy by dx. Let us discuss solution for this question. So, what is the given function here? The given function is, what is the given function here? The given function is y square into cos of 1 by x is equal to a square. Here a square is constant. If we observe on left side, if we observe on left side, we have product of two functions. y square is one function and cos of 1 by x is another function. So, product of two functions if we have means, what is the product rule? So, we know d by dx of product of two functions that is u into v. What is the formula? u into d by dx of v plus v into d by dx of u. So, this is the product rule we learned from our 11th standard. So, if we apply this product rule on left side part of the given function, then what we will get? See here, first function, that means u, uh, we can take this as a u function and we can take this as a v function. So, then what we will get? See here, u into, that means y square into d by dx of v. What is v here? Cos of 1 by x plus v into that means cos of 1 by x into d by dx of u. What is u here? y square is equal to a square is constant. Any constant to derivative is 0. Then y square into what is d by dx of cos of 1 by x? Here this 1 by x term if we consider as x if we consider as x then this is cos x then what is the derivative of cos x cos x derivative is minus sin x into derivative of which function we considered as x that function derivative plus cos of 1 by x into derivative of y square derivative of y square we are doing the derivative here with respect to x variable but here the function is y so, y function we are differentiating with respect to x. So, this y term if we consider as x, then this is x square form. Then what is the derivative of x square? x square derivative is 2x. That means here 2y. That means here 2y into d by dx of which term we consider as x, that is term derivative. Here we considered y as x variable. That's why we are differentiating here y function with respect to x. So, that means d by dx of y is equal to 0. Now, see here y square into minus sin of 1 by x means minus y square into sin of 1 by x into what is the derivative of 1 by x? 1 by x derivative is minus 1 by x square plus here 2y into cos of 1 by x that means 2y into cos of 1 by x into what is the derivative of y with respect to x the derivative of y with respect to x is dy by dx is equal to 0. Now if we observe the first term in first term here we have minus sign 
here also we have minus a sign then minus into minus what plus then what you will get the next step see here y square by x square here y square term here 1 by x square term we can write y square by x square and the remaining term sin 1 by x y square by x square into sin of 1 by x plus 2y into cos of 1 by x into dy by dx is equal to 0. Now we need to find the derivative of the given function with respect to x that means dy by dx. So we need to find dy by dx that's why this dy by dx term alone I am keeping one side. The remaining term that means non dy by dx term I am shifting to right side. Then what we will get? See here 2y into cos of 1 by x into dy by dx is equal to this is a positive term. This positive term if we shift it to right side then it will become negative sign. That's why minus y square by x square into sin of 1 by x. Now we need to find the derivative of y with respect to x that means dy by dx. So now dy by dx is equal to right side term by left side term that means minus y square by x square into sin of 1 by x whole divided by 2y into cos of 1 by x cos of 1 by x. Now, if we see here from the numerator and the denominator, there is a one common term that is y. So, one y term I am cancelling. Then what is the remaining? The remaining term is dy by dx is equal to minus y by x square. y by x square and the denominator we have 2. That is why I am writing here y by 2x square into sin of 1 by x by cos of 1 by x sin of 1 by x by cos of 1 by x. Now sin of 1 by x by cos of 1 by x what we can write? We can write this as tan of 1 by x. Then, then what is the final answer? See here therefore dy by dx is equal to dy by dx is equal to minus y by 2x square into tan of 1 by x. So this is the derivative of the given function with respect to x. I hope you understand. Thank you.